Hands down, the iPhone is probably the best smartphone when it comes to video mode. Apple ProRes Log for the iPhone 15 was an absolute game changer, but the iPhone also has a huge disadvantage compared to many other smartphones, and that is the camera app. I mean, you can record in 4K ProRes Log with 10-bit, but have no chance to control the shutter, ISO, or white balance. Come on, Apple, you can do better than that. But don't worry, we've got you. We have tested the five best camera apps for iOS. These apps will enhance your videos and give them a more cinematic look. So stick around till the end. We will be discussing everything you need to know from pricing to features. And I will also give you my own recommendations on which I think is the best. But before we start this video, hey, I'm Olive, your host here at Versus.com. And I want to thank HideMeVPN for sponsoring this video. Be sure to check out the description for your first three months off, but more on that later. Now let's take a moment to quickly talk about the meaning of some of the features we deem the most important and relevant in case some of you may be a little unfamiliar with the technical terms. We won't go into too much details as it would take far too long, but a quick brief description will make the rest of the video easier to understand and you'll be able to make the correct choice for yourself. Let's start with things that all good cameras must have. Starting with ISO. ISO refers to the camera sensor's sensitivity to light. Understanding ISO is crucial for controlling exposure and achieving the desired visual effect in photos and videos. Shutter speed is the duration the camera sensor is exposed to light per video frame, measured in fractions of a second. For example, 1 over 30, 1 over 60, 1 over 120. It affects motion blur and the appearance of each frame. White balance adjusts colors to make lighting appear natural, ensuring whites are whites and other colors are accurate. It compensates for different lighting conditions and maintains true to life colors, improving video quality. The aperture is also an important component, but the iPhone only has a fixed aperture that cannot be changed. However, there are also smartphones such as the Xiaomi 14 Ultra, which has a variable aperture. Let's now move on to the features that will help you take the perfect shot. Zebra refers to a feature that overlays striped patterns on overexposed areas of the image. This helps identify parts of the frame that are too bright and might lose detail, allowing you to adjust settings to avoid overexposure. Focus peaking in videography highlights sharp focus areas with colored outlines, helping videographers ensure accurate focus, especially during manual shooting. False colors use color overlays to indicate different exposure levels, helping to identify and adjust overexposed and underexposed areas. Histogram graphically represents the brightness levels in an image or video helping assess and adjust exposure and contrast. Sound levels refer to the volume of audio being recorded or played back. Properly managing these levels is crucial for clear, distortion-free audio. So now that we have cleared up what each feature means, let's get into our first cam app, Beast Cam. I consider this app a good choice because compared to other paid options on our list, it is the most affordable price at a one-time fee of $2.99 with no additional in-app purchases. It has a super user-friendly layout which allows for easy manual control of settings like white balance and shutter speed. The app also contains zebra stripes and it has focus peaking to ensure accurate exposure and sharp footage. And more importantly, it is able to shoot in Apple ProRes log. Apple ProRes log refers to recording videos using a ProRes codec with a log color profile, ensuring high quality footage with efficient compression and maximum post-production flexibility. For easy file organization, the BeastCam app comes with a file management feature. The app also gives you the ability to use LUTs for different shooting scenarios, which can really come in handy when you want a specific visual style. A LUT is a tool for color grading that helps achieve specific visual styles or correct color in your footage. If that's not convincing enough, maybe the Beast Cam's anamorphic lens support feature will convince you. Since the anamorphic lens compresses images or videos horizontally, the de-squeeze option helps stretch the image back into its intended wide aspect ratio, making it look more cinematic for proper viewing. The ability to choose which direction you'd like the microphone sound to come from is a handy feature to have. 
You're also able to control stabilization directly from inside the app by choosing to have it on either standard, cinematic, or just completely off. But you may want to keep in mind that the Beastcam app doesn't support the internal app function of gimbals. Let's pause for a moment and briefly talk about safety. A VPN keeps you safe online by turning your information into secret code and hiding your computer's location. This means no one can see what websites you visit or find out where you are. If that sounds like something you'd find useful, then you'll want to hear this next part. HideMe VPN is one of the fastest offshore VPNs with 24-7 support and cross-platform access. Enjoy 10 gigabyte speeds across 2,300 servers globally. You can also navigate the web with a trusted ally, SmartGuard, proactively guarding against malware, tracking, ads, and phishing threats in real time. Plus, they don't store logs, ensuring your actions remain yours. Best part? You can start for free. Click the link in the description to secure your online freedom with HideMe VPN. Simple, secure, and yours. Next, let's take a look at the Moment Pro app. The Moment Pro app was initially a photography app, so at first it didn't have many special features compared to other apps. However, enhancements have been made to its video making capabilities over time, and now it can pretty much do it all. Well, almost all. To access the app, you only need to pay a one-time fee of $6.99, which gives you access to a number of amazing features. You can set the ISO shutter speed, white balance, and so on, but it seems that false colors isn't an option. Other features like its user-friendly interface and video formats are convenient as they allow you to change your resolution and frame rate on screen without having to go into the settings menu. However, whenever you do need to go into the settings menu, the downfall is that it always remains vertical and therefore is pretty annoying to control when filming horizontally, especially if you're using a tripod. We couldn't figure out if there is a way to flip the screen, so if you do know, please do share with us. Another thing that's handy is that it contains video stabilization features. All you need to do is toggle on, off to enable in-body image stabilization, especially if you don't have a gimbal. Plus, there's an audio meter feature which helps maintain audio levels while filming to ensure that your video has the perfect sound. And if dual channel audio is available, the audio meter can also display the levels for both channels separately, ensuring that the sound is balanced in stereo recordings. Like Beastcam, Moment Pro also has an features with a de-squeeze option. And the cool part is that if you have an Osmo Mobile gimbal, you'd be happy to know that Moment Pro also supports feature usage up to Osmo Mobile 4. Potentially, it supports other gimbals too, but we recommend you do your own research here, as this is all the information we could find. Let's move on to the ProTake camera app, which seems to be the only one that has every single feature you may need. The ProTake camera app is free to download, but to access all features, you will have to pay an annual fee of $19.99, which will auto-renew 24 hours before the end of the current period unless switched off. So yes, the price is quite high, but the ProTake app does compensate with a lot of cool features. Not only does the app come with a user-friendly interface, the app also has these four modes that will up your content game. There's the auto mode, which allows for single-handed operations like vlogging, for example. In this mode, most manual settings are not available, but you can adjust the frame rate, color profile, and resolution. The app also operates in pro mode, designed for those that feel more confident and want to have more control over the settings, and it's convenient as you are able to change all of the settings on one screen. The dual mode is one I find pretty interesting. This mode allows you to film with two cameras simultaneously. You know those popular reaction videos where you film a video with a rear camera and have to edit your reaction? Well, with the ProTake app, you can do both simultaneously with your rear and front cameras. In fact, you can split the screen and film two different shots. No other app has this feature, so if you really want it, you would have to get this app. And then we have the portrait mode, which leverages the processors of the iPhone Pro to film videos with real-time blurred backgrounds. This is actually a completely normal feature, which you also have in the native camera app. But interestingly enough, no other app seems to have this feature, which is why I'm mentioning it again. I should add that the auto and pro modes have a Wi-Fi video transmission system that allows you to transmit videos from one camera to about four monitors, which I think is super cool and efficient. Plus, it's unique to this app, as none of the others have this option. 
That said, Protake also contains a number of your regular assistant tools like zebra stripes, false color, auto exposure, focus peaking, apple log, and autofocus to prevent inaccurate exposure and blurry footage. But here's the icing on the cake. The app also supports gimbal usage, which is a feature you don't necessarily get with most camera apps you find. So that's definitely a huge plus for this app. Protake advertises that it supports Xiyun gimbals, but unfortunately we could not check this ourselves as we do not own this gimbal. Moving on to the fourth app, let's take a look at Filmic Pro. I'm sure this app is no stranger to your ears. Filmic is so good that it was actually used to shoot Lady Gaga's 2020 single, Stupid Love. Yes, the whole video was shot on an iPhone 11 Pro with the Filmic Pro app. Go check it out and let me know what you think. Is it obvious? Amazingly, this app is free to download with a seven day free trial, but you would eventually have to pay a fee of $2.99 per week or $39.99 per year to keep using it. So obviously it's quite expensive, which is kind of a bummer depending on your budget. But let's go through its features first and then you can decide for yourself if the app is worth its price. Filmic Pro does support certain gimbals such as DJI's Osmo Mobile Models 1, 2, 3, and 4, DJI OM5, Freefly Movi Cinema Robot, and Xiyun Smooth 4 and Smooth 5, and potentially others too, but we advise you to do further research on this if it's an important feature for you. However, if you do not have a gimbal or a tripod and want a static video, Filmic Pro has an on-off stabilization setting that allows the highest level of stabilization offered on your device. The app also has an additional cinematic stabilization stabilization mode if you want to have a cinematic feel. The Filmic app also contains manual and autofocus features. You can access the manual focus by dragging the square icon towards the subject you'd like to focus on, or if you are moving, you could also switch to autofocus by double clicking on the square icon. And if you want to lock autofocus, just tap the square icon once in autofocus mode. Filmic Pro app makes film composition easier by providing a guide which splits the screen into a nine square grid, making lower thirds and composition a lot easier. All the other apps have this feature as well, but we wanted to show you how it works. The app also supports ProRes Log, which is a must for many. Sure, the fees for the Filmic Pro are quite high, but I think it can be worth it, especially if you are not ready to get expensive camera equipment. Finally, let's take a look at the last app, and that is the Black Magic Camera app. This camera app is by far the best there is. Can you feel the excitement in my voice just from talking about it? The Blackmagic app promises to give your videos the Hollywood look and it sure delivers, equipping you with all the professional features you need to create a brilliant film. First off, it has an on-screen heads-up display, meaning that on top of the screen, you have everything you need while making a video, from frame rate to histogram, ISO, shutter speed, and a lot more. The coolest thing about this is that the controls are interactive, so all you need to do is tap a feature and instantly change its settings settings without having to go into the settings menu. Its user interface mimics Blackmagic cameras, and you know those cameras are no joke. You are able to record Apple ProRes clips in up to 4K resolution on your phone's local storage, or directly get your footage to post-production in a matter of minutes. It does this when you store directly to DaVinci Resolve, which is a professional video editing software also made by Blackmagic Design via Blackmagic Cloud. This is how it works for those who are interested. Once you stop filming and upload to Blackmagic Cloud, the app will instantly start uploading a proxy version of your clip followed by the original file. This allows for real-time editing as editors can start their work immediately and colorists can download the higher quality originals later. What's even more mind-blowing is that this can also be applied to multiple cameras with multiple phones shooting at the same time, making it easier to start editing once once you are done filming. The app also has an inbuilt chat tool that allows remote filmmakers to communicate their work progress. I know you're probably wondering how much you'd have to part with to access these amazing features. Well, it is actually absolutely free to use. Isn't that amazing? The only time you'd have to pay is if you want to use the Blackmagic Cloud Store, and you can always skip that step if your device has enough storage. Just keep in mind that Blackmagic does not support gimbal features, which is a small bummer, but definitely not a big deal considering all the amazing features you get with this free app. 
All right, so in the course of this video, we have reviewed five impressive apps. We have listed all of the features for you so that you can see which app can do what and at what price. So just stop the video here if you want to take a closer look. It doesn't take rocket science to see that the Blackmagic camera app is the best option. Especially if you are a filmmaker, the app's comprehensive professional features offer everything you'd love in a camera app. From interactive on-screen controls to real-time editing. Also, the seamless integration with DaVinci Resolve via Blackmagic Cloud and support for multiple cameras filming simultaneously highlight its superiority. Sure, not being able to use a gimbal with this app is a small con, but it's not really a big deal. However, if it really matters to you and you've got the budget, then maybe try out the Filmic Pro app. But let us know what you think and which one would you choose. We really hope that you enjoyed this review and make sure to also subscribe to be a part of our Versus community if you aren't already. As always, give this video a big like if you enjoyed it and check out the description for direct links to each app. With that being said, we'll see you in the next video and until then, take care.